Something nice happened last week. For the first time in the history of humanity, scientists were able to take a picture of a black hole, confirming Einstein's theory of relativity, uh, general relativity, a century after he came up with it. They literally did something that most people thought up until then was going to be completely impossible. So nice, right? Such a nice thing. But as you know, it's the internet. The internet exists, so we can't have nice things. Uh, so the internet went to work on this one. Here's how it went down. Early on the morning of April 10th, uh, astronomers announced that they had in fact captured an image of the supermassive black hole at the center of the Messier 87, the M87 galaxy. Uh, this exploded all over social media, where shortly thereafter, um, a second related photo started to go viral. And this was a picture of uh, a very happy scientist named Katie Bowman. Um, it was accompanied with this message. Congratulations to Katie Bowman, to whom we owe the first photograph of a black hole ever. Not seeing her name circulate nearly enough in the press. Amazing work. And here's to more women in science getting their credit and being remembered in history. And all of that is more or less true. We really do owe, in part, Katie Bowman for this incredible discovery as the lead author on this study. Um, and women who have contributed to science in the past have often been ignored and per purposefully forgotten. So it's really nice to see a woman's accomplishments in science be recognized. But from there, the story got spun more and more. Uh, one of the top replies to that post is another one reading, Meet Katie Bowman. She wrote the algorithm which produced the first ever image of a black hole. Now that's less true. Um, as Bowman herself stated, she was one of 200 hardworking scientists who collaborated on several algorithms, which then had to be used together to stitch together the picture of the black hole. Bowman was experiencing what men in the sciences and elsewhere, to be quite honest, have experienced for several millennia now, uh, suddenly getting credit for an act uh, that was actually cooperative. Um, John Glenn, for instance, is famous for going to space, but the science that got him there was the direct result of hundreds of people's work, including Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, Mary Jackson. Uh, that happens all the time. You know, Chuck Yeager broke the sound barrier, but if you think he had jack shit to do with the design and development of the Bell X1, you're sadly mistaken. Rarely is any great scientific achievement the result of any one person's efforts, especially these days. But it's human nature to want to find one person to put on a pedestal. And considering the injustices faced for so long by female scientists, it's understandable that people would be eager to, in this case, share information about Bowman, uh, who was critical to the success of this program. And as many people now know, Bowman delivered a TEDx talk about uh, her work on this project several years ago, and she provided a really easy to understand explanation of how they were creating the image and why it's such a momentous undertaking. So with that video being spread around as well, it's even more understandable that people would want to celebrate her. Unfortunately for Bowman, that celebration came with a huge backlash uh, that started almost immediately after her photo went viral. Um, the misogynists of Reddit, of course, put on their detective hats and they went to work. They started scouring GitHub for proof that Bowman didn't actually write the code in question. This is because the misogynists of Reddit either have no idea how programs work or they have no idea how scientific oversight on projects work, one or the other, maybe both. So they decided that Bowman should get no credit uh, due to what was on GitHub and that the credit should actually go to a man named Andrew Chael, uh, a male member of the team, of course, who they claim wrote 850,000 out of 900,000 lines of code in the algorithm. They claimed this was proof of political correctness run amok and that Bowman was stealing credit she didn't deserve just because she's a woman. Chael, to his credit, uh, immediately took to Twitter to debunk this. 
Uh, the final code, he points out, only had about 68,000 lines of code, first of all. Second of all, he pointed out that Bowman took the lead on developing the system that combined all three algorithms into one coherent framework. Finally, he pointed out that he himself is an out gay man who actually works with LGBTQ STEM students to help them succeed. So he himself is one of their much feared political SJW scientists. Sadly, this has not been enough to stop the misogynists of the internet. Nothing ever truly is. Men in his replies are commenting things like, of course she deserves credit, but spinning it into a female success story is forcing a narrative on a project that many other faces, including yourself, deserve just as much, if not more, credit for. They don't seem to consider the problem when other male scientists get a disproportionate amount of credit for their work on a collaborative project. Is John Glenn an example of a male success story? Or this guy who says, Unless I mis misunderstood, a team of people did the massive amount of work together, yet one of them gets the spotlight because she's a woman and the ideology needs to propagate. It's terribly sad that she's being used as a tool. Bowman did not get the spotlight just because she's a woman. Uh, in that case, it could have literally gone to any of the women on the team. She got the spotlight because she did incredible work. She took the lead on a fascinating project, and someone posted a very cute photo of her looking excited about it. And yes, it is fun to see someone achieve something in their field, especially when that field has traditionally been overtly hostile to people like them for several centuries. That doesn't make her a tool. Uh, and the only sad thing is that now she has the internet's worst misogynist coming after her, claiming she's taking credit she doesn't deserve, when all she's ever done is point out that this was a collaborative project that she was proud to work on. Katie Bowman was instrumental in achieving something humanity has little, literally never been able to do before and which we thought was impossible. And instead of just being able to celebrate that accomplishment, she's being burned in effigy by misogynists. That's sad. That's the definition of sad. Dude on Twitter who isn't even using his real name or photo and considers himself the Chuck Yeager of the mind. Oh, the irony. And those are just the normal guys. Those are the nice ones I picked out for you. Uh, the ones who are just asking questions. They are the forerunners of the truly fucked up assholes who are also out there badgering Bowman, like the pickup artist Roosh V, who tweeted to his fans with, of course, zero proof. The vir viral black hole photo was originally released in 2017. The incredibly talented female superhero scientist with advanced algorithms merely inverted the image in Photoshop. Yesterday's release is yet another globo homo psyop to emasculate men. Well, men, do you feel emasculated by the fact that one of the 200 people who took a picture of a black hole is a woman? Well, what if I told you that 40 of the 200 people that took the picture were women? Now where's your masculinity? I'll give you a minute to go look for it. I assume you think it's in the bathing suit area somewhere, but I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it to you. You figure it out. The one remaining good thing about all of this is that Katie Bowman doesn't have a Twitter account. That's so smart. I'm, I'm, that's the smartest thing. That's smarter than taking a picture of a black hole. Uh, I'm not that smart. <laughs> so I hope because of that, that she's somewhat insulated from all of this abuse. And I hope she goes on to do even more amazing things that will continue to piss off the man babies of the world. Because clearly we need a few more things like this to happen before misogynists realize that women in the sciences are here to stay and we're not just gonna let their achievements be forgotten.